Hi. We know that one plus one equal two according to the mathematics, and we know it from our uh, childhood. This is proof according to the mathematics. But what if I say one plus one equal three? Yes, I say one plus one equal three through a strange mathematical calculation, and I will prove that one plus one equals three, not two. I am Robbie, an educator and filmmaker. To prove that uh, one plus one equals three, I am going to consider one on left hand side and another one on right hand side, and then I can rewrite this one as like as forty one minus forty, and then right hand side I can rewrite. As like as sixty one minus sixty, because this forty one minus forty is one and sixty one minus sixty is one, so they can go back and forth. That means left hand side is supported by the right hand side. There is no problem. This forty one I can rewrite as like as sixteen plus twenty five, and remaining is forty. And right hand side this sixty one I can rewrite thirty six plus twenty five. Minus sixty. Until this point, there is no contradiction with mathematical formula. This sixteen is four square, and this twenty-five is five square, and minus this fourteen, I can rewrite as like as two times four times five. That means two times four is eight. Eight times five is forty. This thirty-six is six square, and this twenty-five is five square. Minus this sixty, I can rewrite as like as two times six times five. That means six times two is twelve. Twelve times five is sixty. So there is no mathematical contradiction until this fourth point of this mathematical statement. Now I am going to a very famous mathematical formula, and this formula is x minus y whole square, which equals to x square. Plus y square minus two x y. Let's consider this x and y is four and five. That means x is four and y is five, which means four minus five whole square is left hand side. A right hand uh, on right hand side, I can apply the same formula: x minus y whole square. That means six minus five whole square. Now this is the interesting uh, point of this calculation. Look at here. Left hand side I have one square and right hand side another square. So they are same. They cancel each other. I can eliminate them from both hand side. And remaining is left hand side four minus five and right hand side six minus five. I can push this minus five on right hand side by making it plus five. That means left hand side remaining four. And right hand side is six minus five. This five is coming to right hand side as plus five. This minus five and this plus five they cancelled each other. And remaining is four equal six. I am dividing left hand side by two and right hand side again two. And remaining is four divided by two is two. And right hand side is three. That means two is one plus one. Equals three, and finally I prove one plus one equals three. This is a strange mathematical calculation. This is not followed by mathematical rules. I got this strange result because somewhere in this mathematical statement or in this calculation, I did not follow the ground rules of mathematics. Question is. Where I did not follow the ground rules of mathematics, that's the main reason I got this strange result. So if you know the reason or why did I make the mistake, write it in the comment section. Well, don't go. I have another interesting mathematical calculation. This is very uh, interesting and old mathematical illusions that two plus two equals five. I made another interesting video on this topic, two plus two equals five. But today I am proving two plus two equals five. To a simple mathematical calculation, to do that or to prove two plus two equals five, I'm considering left hand side zero and right hand side again zero. I can rewrite this zero as 
16 minus 16 equals this 0 is 20 minus 20 look at here 16 minus 60 is 16 uh, is 0 and 20 minus 20 is 0 that means they can go back and forth this 16 remaining 16 16 and this 16 is 12 minus 4 and this 20 remaining the same and this 20 I can rewrite as like as minus 15 minus 5 that means minus 15 minus 5 is minus 20 the same minus 12 minus 4 is 16 as well now I can take 4 common from left hand side that means 4 and here is 3 and here is 1 and right hand side I can take another common which is 5 here is 4 minus here is 3 minus this is 1 look at here in left hand side 4 minus 3 minus 1 and right hand side 4 minus 3 minus 1 this is the interesting part of this calculation I can cancel this part and that part from both hand side and remaining is 4 equals 5 that means according to the typical mathematical formula is 2 plus 2 which is 4 and 5 and right hand side that means 2 plus 2 equals 5 if you know where exactly I made the mistake you are open to write it in the comment section now I will show you something different how we can calculate any number by 11 without any calculator within 5 seconds let us consider 25 that should be multiplied with 11 how we can multiply it? so consider this 25 this 25 consider this digit 2 and 5 right here 2 on one side and 5 on another side keep a certain distance or gap in between to them and then make addition in this two number 2 plus 5 is 7 that means 275 is the answer so if I multiply 11 with 25 the multiplication is 275 let's try another number 11 times 43 as I told you this number 4 and 3 put it like this way 4 and 3 and keep a distance and just add these two number 4 plus 3 is 7 that means 473 is the multiplication result in between 11 and 43 is not it uh, easy okay there is some exception for example if I multiply 11 with 49 this time the same rules applied 4 on this side and 9 on that side keep a certain distance now add these two number 4 plus 9 is 13 in that case 13 here put write this 3 exactly in between these two number and this one is carried that will be plus here that means 4 plus 1 is 5 this 3 here and 9 this is the answer is not it easy within 5 seconds you can you can multiply anything by 11 this is pretty much simple